Hey guys, so maybe some of you can tell that I'm currently using a new mic than usual. So let me know what you guys think of it. Um, I'm hoping it'll be a little bit better quality, but just from my initial tests, it seems like it's a little bit quieter. So I'm gonna bump up, I have a program where I can like double the sound of it. So I'm giving that a try. So let me know uh, also if it's too soft or too quiet. Um, and I can try to play around with those settings. And also, I'm usually using a different monitor than I am on this case. I'm just using my MacBook um, and not using an external monitor to record this. So let me know if the quality is kind of odd, just the resolution and everything. But I'm thinking uh, font size and stuff should look pretty good still. Um, and good news, I was able to get the React Native upload stuff working. So whenever I pick a picture now on iOS, it seems to work okay, but I did need to make a change. So you'll notice I am now, and this is just has to do with the picture field, I'm importing permissions from Expo. So when I tried running uh, just the regular code that we set up yesterday um, on iOS, it said permission failed. So I looked it up and it looks like we have to ask for the permission. So that's what I'm doing here. So I'm saying, await permissions dot get async and I'm getting the camera roll per permission so basically here I'm checking whether we've been granted the permission and so here I'm checking and if we have not been granted the permission then the user is gonna have to request it or we're gonna have to request it so I say permissions dot ask and I tell it the camera roll so camera roll is the one we need um, so now when I click on this if it's the first time you doing this it'll ask you for permission since I've already asked for permis permission, it already just pulls it right up. Um, and there's no other thing we have to do. So click on that. And now when I click on one of these pictures, so let's say this guy with the red roses, and I come over here and I save the listing. Um, for whatever reason, it refreshes. I don't know why it does that, but it does go ahead and upload it correctly. If I come over to my images, um, on my server, I now have a whole bunch and yeah, let's save it and that's because I was I was testing out this before So there's the Timo one. Here's you probably noticed. This is one of the ones on the iPhone. I tested this earlier um, Let's see if we can find the roses one. I just uploaded here. We go So th this flower one is the one I just uploaded so I was able to make it to the server. Okay now I'm not quite sure why the heck the phone refreshes after I submit um, but it seems like our code is working correctly and we don't need to zoom all the way. So for whatever reason, I'm not sure why it doesn't work on Android. I'm not sure if it's a problem with the library. Um, I do. I am interested to test it on a physical device and see if that does work or if it's just an emulator problem. But for now, I wanna move on to the next thing we're gonna do. And so I wanna create a similar page that we have on our website where we can see, so fetch all the listings for the app. So what we're going to do is use the card from React Native Elements and uh, render app. So you can see here with the card, we're gonna go something like this guy right here. And if we scroll down, we can see here's the card and we just specify our image and whatnot. So let's go ahead and create a new page for this. I'm gonna say under listings, I'm gonna call this find and I'm going to call this find listings connector.tsx and we can create a component in here and then I'm going to make a route out of it um, I'm going to just call it the same name find listings connector um, I spelled that way wrong connector all right and let's just render hi And we'll go to that from React Native. And let's go over to our routes and add this. So this is just gonna be a regular route. And we're gonna say listings slash view. And we're gonna say find listing connector. And actually we can call it listing slash find if we want to. And so I'm just going to rename it here. And now when I refresh this, um, we should see our text. I see high on the top right. And now we can start filling this out. So the first thing I want to do is get our data. And so we're going to do that the same way we do with the website. 
So if we come over here to the find listing, I believe we used a higher order component for this. Yep. And so we're going to use this with find listings higher order component. So I'm going to copy this, paste it here. I'm going to rename this to C. And now I need to import this from the controller. And then I also want to get the with find listing. So I have the props for it. So now I have the data in the props. Oops. So in this case, the thing I care about is the listings. And now I want to render a whole bunch of cards. So I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to say, I'm just going to make this a fragment. Oops. Close that. And then we're going to map inside of this. So I'm going to say listings.map. And then for each listing, we're going to render a card and paste in the card data. So I'm going to give this a save. Now I'm going to need to import all this stuff. So. This is coming from native elements and we want the card and the button. And I guess the text we can just get from react native. That seems fine. And doesn't like that background color. That's totally fine. We can use the default. Um, again, we can remove the font family and the rest of it. It's done complaining. Uh, we didn't add a key to this, so that's not good. So let's add a key. Um, and I'm just going to say listing dot ID. And I'm going to just, um, in case we ever use a, an array of listings in another place, I'm going to make this unique. And I'm at the end just going to say find listing. And I'm just going to use the initials, so find listing connector. And it doesn't like it. Unable to resolve module images slash pick. Oh, from this require right here. So instead of that, I'm going to say L dot picture URL. Uh, it doesn't like it. Maybe I need to pass in like this. There we go. So this is how you pass in uh, pictures for the image element. We'll refresh that. So now all of them are displaying um, source URI sh should not be an empty string. So we only want to display this image if there actually is one. So I'm going to say L dot picture URL, then we'll display it. Otherwise it's going to be undefined. And we want to change the text out. So in this case, I actually don't really, need any text here. Well, actually, I guess I could show the user if we wanted to. The title, I'm going to show L dot name. And then here, I'm going to display L dot owner. And we'll just say owner. So we can see who belongs to each listing. And I don't need a button. And now it's complaining and that's because owner is an object. I forgot about that. So I want to say owner dot and then the email is what I want to display. So you can't actually just have this be an object and try to render that react native won't like it. All right, cool. So we see our things and notice how I'm scrolling or at least I'm clicking and dragging and it's not going. Reason for that is we need to make this into a scroll view because we're going past the page. Scroll view. Give that a save. Um, and there we go. Now we have a nice cards right here. Alternatively, we could make this into a flat list if this gets really long and we wanted to optimize this. Alternatively, we may want to add some padding to the top because we're kind of smashing into the top here. So you can style this in any way you like. So I'm going to just add some margin to the top. 
and now it's a little bit below, which is nice. All right, and we can see all our pictures, and here's the guy that we uploaded before. So nice. So these are displaying all our cards. So that's what I wanted to do in this video, guys. Thanks for watching.